Hi boys and girls, I'm so glad to be with you. Well today is going to be our special session time and we're going to get to see and hear some animal calls. Now often when we think about animals, we think about what they look like. But I wonder how many times we maybe think about what they sound like and the calls that they make. Well I hope you will listen really carefully so you can figure out what animal makes the sound or the calls that we're going to get to do here today. I like to start with one that I'm sure probably most of you already know and have seen this animal. Actually, it's a bird. And it's a very common bird and it's right here in Pennsylvania, right around where we live. And it sounds like this. Now, what I want you to do is I'm going to make the calls, sounds, and then let's see if you can figure out what animal or bird makes it. Okay, here's the first one. Do you know what it is? Oh, I think I see those hands going up. That's right, it's a crow. Very good, you guys are getting started off great. Well, let me go to this next one. Now this one's a little bit harder, and not as many people maybe are familiar with this one, but it's a really good one. And let's see if you can figure this one out. I'll give you a, a hint, it's a bird. Now let me remind you, uh, all these calls we're doing here today are from wild animals or wild birds and they're not like farm animals or like sheep or like animals from the jungle like monkeys. They're from animals here in Pennsylvania or somewhere in the United States. And that bird is, I'll give you another hint or two. One, it's uh, from originally from a country of China and it's a very beautiful bird. Can anybody figure out what it is? Did you get it? It's a pheasant, a male pheasant. Okay, this next one is, I'm sure, an animal that you've seen probably in your yard or around somewhere. It's, well, it sounds like this. Now, the second call for the same animal sounds like this. Do you know what it is? Have you figured it out yet? Oh, I'm sure you know. It's the gray squirrel. Very good. You guys are really smart. Now, this next call, uh, I'm going to do two different calls on the same one. Just wait. Don't guess yet. Okay, here's the first one. This is the female makes this sound. It goes like this. Okay, now wait. Hold up. Don't guess. we got to do the second one. This is the male bird that does this one. Okay, I wonder if you know what it is. Have you figured it out yet? It's a wild turkey. That's right, very good. Now this next one, um, it's a bird that sometimes soars over really high sometimes and it sounds like this. What is it? Have you seen it flying? It is a hawk. Very good. I thought you'd get that one too. Now these next two here especially, I think you're going to know what they are really, really easily. Let's see. What is that one? I know you know it. It's the duck. Very good. And it's actually the ballard duck that makes that sound. This next one you see these uh, this bird flying over, it's a lot of them around, and they sound like this. I wonder if you're going to guess it right away. <coughs> Did you get it? You knew it all along, didn't you? It's the goose, the Canada goose, and we see them all the time. Now, I have another one here that often, um, well, you might find this bird uh, in uh, maybe your pine tree or your cedar tree, if you have one of those. And it's a pretty easy one to figure out. See if you know. Do you know what it is? You sure? It's the morning... That's right, the morning dove. I knew you would get it. That's great, awesome. Well, let's move on to some of these over here. 
And this one's a little bit different one. And you probably maybe won't think of it at first. And all of a sudden you can say, oh, I knew it all along. It sounds like this. Have you ever heard it? You think you know? If you thought it was the black bear, you were right. Very good. Now this next one is an animal that's not from Pennsylvania, black bear. Yeah, they they live in Pennsylvania, but this one's not in Pennsylvania. This one actually in some of the western states. Uh, and it's a pretty big animal, but as you can see it's just a little call. But it makes a really interesting sound. It goes like this. Think you know what it is? Do you got it? It's an antelope. Very good. Now, they're a pretty big animal, but they make a little sound like that. Another thing I want to remember to tell you before I forget, we're only doing just a few of the calls that these animals or birds make. They make many, many more sounds than this. We're just doing a couple of them from each, each, from each call. Okay. Oh, this next one. It's kind of a loud one. See if you can figure it out. What was that one? This animal lives in Pennsylvania. It is a wild hog. That's right. Very good. And if you hear the wild hog making a sound like that, he not too happy. He's pretty upset. Okay, well, let's try this one. This animal was, doesn't live in Pennsylvania, but it's in the United States. And it sounds like this. I wonder what makes that sound. Have any idea? That's maybe a little bit harder one. Have you figured it? Hey, you have a good guess? A caribou. Very good, a caribou. Now look at this big one. Oh, this is probably stands up nice, straight and tall like this. It's probably the biggest one I have out here. And uh, this animal, actually not in Pennsylvania, but um, states like Maine or Minnesota, maybe also up into Canada. Listen to this one. <coughs> What makes that sound? It's a really big animal. Have you figured it out yet? You got it, a moose. That's right, very good. And this call is for the bull moose, and those guys weigh like maybe 2,000 pounds and make a, a very funny, unique sound like that. Okay, I have three calls here together. It's all, they all come from the same animal. It's a four-legged animal. Um, but it's kind of like at different stages of its life, or maybe one's a male, one's a female, but it all comes from the same animal. See if you can figure it out. Now, don't guess yet till I do all three of them. Can you wait till I do all three of them? Okay, let's see. Now, it's going to be hard to wait, because you're going to figure them out. Here's the first one. Don't guess yet. I'm going to do these other two. All right, what's this one now? You know what that one is? Hold on. I know you know. Here's the last one. It's the same animal. It's doing all three of these calls. Now, I, oh, I see hands up going everywhere, I'm sure. And you know what it is. This first one, this is a white-tailed baby deer called a fawn. And sometimes they make that sound. This one is a white-tailed doe or female and sometimes a doe will make that sound and this one of course yes you're right it's the buck the male deer that makes that sound i have one final call here i want to do with you today oh look at this one this is like a kind of thin one and very unique looking and it sounds like this <coughs> this one actually this big animal it's a big one lives in pennsylvania also have you figured it out yet? That's very good. It's an elk. I love it how you guys figured these things out and did a great job. And that is just so wonderful. And it really is cool, boys and girls, how we could hear today these calls from God's nature. But did you know that there's another call? 
It's really the most important one. It's one that God wants you to hear. The Bible says the invisible things of God from the creation of the world are clearly seen and heard, and they are understood by the things that God made. Boys and girls, God is calling you from His creation. He's saying, I love you. He's saying, I sent Jesus for you. And, and he's saying that Jesus came to this world and he died for you because of sin. But the good news is he didn't stay dead. He came alive again on the third day and he did that for you. And he's also saying, won't you believe in him, in Jesus, and what he has did for you and for your sins to be forgiven. So next time, boys and girls, when you're out in God's wonderful creation and you start looking all around and, and you see God's creation and God's creatures, oh, don't forget to listen and hear God's creation. Will you, boys and girls, Listen, will you boys and girls listen to God's call for you?